We are always looking for police officers. <laughs> right now we are about a, we are in recruitment stage and we are about a hundred um, we need about a hundred police officers. So thank you very much for that. That's a make the appeal for persons who we they believe can join the force for our career. There will always be two persons who continue to fail. All the persons who continue to fail and are not um, appropriate, you can say, for the rigors of, 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 of policing. It, it, I said you, you all had a thing on, with, with GIS um, a couple oh, of years that's back. Right, that's, what, that's what we as well as know. Yes, thank you. And, no, and, and, and I was wondering if you're going to expand the demographic. Um, I, w I can't speak to the expanded demographic from my position. But what I can tell you is that so far now we will be rolling out promos on television and radio mm. in order to assist in our recruitment right. operation. We say to men from the 21st of November. And as we know, the purpose <coughs> of Operation Lutei is to provide a great police presence around Barbados, especially in town and shopping areas. We sought to do this by redeploying police officers who were doing administrative duties. Therefore, we were able to deploy foot and mobile patrols in Bridgetown and other towns. We were also able to cover various shopping centers and we also set up our presence in the source belt with the assistance of personnel from the Barbados Defense Force. From our initial observations thus far, we were able to reduce the level of theft from persons. And when I say theft um, from persons, I do mean snapping. And also, we also made a dent to the arrow shop listing with English down that area, such as Common Rock. Bridgen Hill, River Road, Martin Dales Road, and their immediate environment. So, uh, although the operation you said is still coming to us, is now coming to us, we intend to make to maintain a presence in these areas and also to deploy <coughs> significant strategies to bring an end to these similar activities. <coughs> Plans are also in place to have a greater dialogue with the displaces and also with the general public in their own security and prevention. So we are therefore seeking public assistance and exercising greater care when they are moving, around, moving about in their daily business. So we will be sensitizing them and you will hear more through our convention officer in the not too distant future. So we're asking them to take care and be cautious when using cell phones. They can mark them for identification purposes. <coughs> they should always be conscious of their surroundings. And um, especially when they are about in the town and especially in the darkened areas. But we are also appealing to the public to give us information. We also give us information as the activities they will see, where they start a mischievous behavior can lead to this type of crime, this criminal activity. Not only that too, but also to report the crimes that, that may they have fallen victim to. But this in itself can also assist us in time our strategy to combat criminal activity. So we're making that appeal to the general public. Also I can now move on to the park in Bridgetown. We have realized that uh, we continue to grapple with illegal parking in the city. More vehicles have been observed parking in minor roads off the main streets of Bridgetown. Not only that too, they are also engaged in illegal parking alongside the main arteries around Bridgetown. And this is especially worrying. Worrying the sense that it causes great congestion, especially around peak time, and it is a challenge for emergency vehicles to traverse the city roads because of the blockages of the city. 
I must say that safety of the public is of paramount importance to us. In relation to murders, we recorded 29 in 2011 and 32 in 2010. So you can see that there is a decrease of three. We continue to investigate the previous murders. We have employed and continue to employ the personnel from the court case and the defense squad to assess. In 2011, we have employed um, the modern techniques in solving these cases. Among such cases would be the murder of George Clark, formerly of Stanford and Philip, where he died on the 19th of November 2010, after being attacked on February 2000 and of that, sorry, February of that same year. <coughs> so, family of victims can rest assured that we are doing all our utmost in solving these cases. I can also assure the public that we have the crime situation under control. We also with mon monitoring such activities where this sort of violent behavior is exhibited through violence. I know sometimes people do remarkable ways. Events such as football that we may have uh, where shootings will have occurred. So once we know of these activities, we will continue to monitor them and provide 